Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so, yes, um, to yucca or not to yucca, this is part two. And um, Natasha Denona, Natasha Denona came out with um, a new palette and it's called yucca. And um, yucca is a plant that's found in the Western United States. And I actually have an aloe vera plant over here that's the same family of plant. It's more of a cactus kind of plant that you can find in the deserts um, in the western United States. And so I thought I'd show you my... Um, it's not exactly the same. The aloe vera isn't going to have uh, the yellows and the reds in it that, you know, the yucca plant does. But they're both part of the cactus family. And as far as showing you... Let's see if we can go ahead and do this here. So that's the plant right there, and they tend to get pretty tall and um, cactus looking and kind of like that. So that's the plant that, or the family of the plant that she went ahead and based her, her palette on. And let me see if I can get it back in the, let's see, one moment. One moment here. There we go. So, um, so uh, the yucca is part of the cactus family and everything. And um, and uh, so it'll be in the background here so that you can see it. Um, and again, I am seeing very differently. I went down the rabbit hole with this one and the color story is so much of the mother earth kind of thing and uh, so many uh, palettes come out lately that have that as you know part of what they're doing and so I thought I'd go ahead and do a part two because I didn't think that I actually got all the well I was editing part one and I was looking at palettes and going that one kind of works and that one works oh that one really works so I decided to go ahead and do a part two so to go ahead and start off with what I have on my face um, I have the super goop uh, glow oil here this has an SPF of 50 in it and then with this one, I went ahead and used my LYS uh, foundation. I'm almost out of this foundation, and I do have a uh, new high-end foundation that I'm going to go ahead and use as a replacement for this, and it'll be coming soon. Um, as far as what I did for blush, I went ahead and used the e.l.f. Uh, Luminous Putty Blush, and this one is in Bermuda, so that's what I have on as far as my blush today. And then as far as the highlight, um, I did go ahead and pick up one of the e.l.f. highlights. This is the Halo Glow Highlighter, and this one is in Rose Quartz. So that's what I have on there. And then as far as what I have on for uh, the bronzer, I did go ahead and use the flower. And this is the Heat Wave Bronzer in Sunrise. So that's what I have on there. And I think they worked pretty well together. Um, I do have the next Thicket Stick It On as far as the brows and Cool Ash Brown. And then Sky High uh, by Maybelline as far as mascara. And the highlighter, yeah, did we go through the highlighter? Um, ColourPop Seismic is what I'm using as far as the highlighter. So this is what I have on as far as that goes. And I do have on the Pretty Fresh uh, Concealer as well. So uh, that's what I have on there. And as far as what I have on the eyes, again, um, I was editing part one, and I just got looking at things, and I was just like, yeah, I haven't done, yeah, there's more to this than what I've done. And so um, I actually picked up The Legend of Korra by ColourPop, and I think it kind of explains it pretty well. 
um, it's set up so that you have air bending here. So um, air, fire, water, and earth. And so the four elements are the classic four elements. And uh, so as far as um, the Yucca palette, it definitely has air, fire, and earth in it. And so I just thought, well, since it's already set out for me and it pretty much follows the same game plan as that, that I would go ahead and use it. And I have two different eye looks on. Uh, this one over here is going to be the one from Legend of Korra. And I started with the mustard as my crease color. And I used a little bit of the red down here, which this is air bending. This one is fire bending. And so I used some of this in the crease as well. Um, I did go ahead and use this color in the outer corner. And then, um, let's see, I did uh, use some of this on the inner corner and this shimmer on the inner corner as well. And I think that's just about all that I have on there. Oh, I did go ahead and use um, a little bit of this in the crease and as the eyeliner. And then I also used this as the eyeliner and this one as well. Okay, so this is the eyeliner. A little bit of this is the eyeliner. This is the eyeliner as well and then a little bit of this in the inner corner. And it just went ahead and followed the whole um, sort of yucca, mother earth, um, four elements kind of, and it's just a huge color story. So of course you can find it in all sorts of palettes. And I think the yucca palette just sort of went ahead and made us go, oh, in a different way because it's really a color story that we find a lot. Um, and then I looked at my um, avatar, The Last Airbender, and of course since it has air, air, fire, water, and earth, it has the same kind of color story as well. And um, then I saw a couple, a couple other palettes that are still available that have the same sort of color story, but they're not necessarily as complete as um, as uh, the Airbender one. But um, Sage the Day by ColourPop, yeah, it has. Here's your gray, and uh, then you have your greens, and you have. Um, a peach, a brown, a deep brown. Uh, the only thing you're missing with this one is some yellow that you could pull in from another palette. Um, and I, well, the other eye, which is going to be this eye, I went ahead and did from the Harry Potter palette. And again, um, you have four, I mean, you, four main color stories as well. And if you go ahead and look at them. Let's go ahead and turn this one sideways here. Um, you got earth, water, air, and fire again. And um, you can describe them by the Hogwarts, which is going to be Gryffindor, Slytherin, uh, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. And so those break down if you want to look at them as far as, uh, let's see, you could go ahead and go, this is going to be your fire bending, this is your earth bending, this is your um, water, and this one is going to be your air. So it's the same color story, it's just described a little bit differently. And so I did do one of my eyes with this one, and I went ahead and used um, a couple of their, they have some multi crumbs in here. So I went ahead and put this one on the inner corner, this one on the outer corner. So again, this one on the inner corner, this one on the outer corner. Then I went ahead and did a combination of these colors, which 
you know, the golds right here. And, um, and then I went ahead and used this deep dark green down here as my eyeliner color. And so again, you can do, you find this is such a classic color story that it's so easy to go down the rabbit hole with it because it's mother earth. It's earth, air, water, and fire. And so it just, it just caused me to go ahead and do some more looks and I thought well since I'm here I might as well tell you what I found and go ahead and you know um, usually I don't go into color theory a lot because I'm more of a get it on your face kind of channel but with this it just sparked all sorts of stuff all sorts of creativity and you know that's a good thing I mean she does, uh, Natasha Denona does color stories that are absolutely gorgeous. And for me, apparently, this one just hit at the right time. So as far as the way is that these color, or these looks came out, here we go with this. So we go with this. That's the way that that one came out. And that's one that I did with the Harry Potter. And then the other one. Let's see if we can do this. Actually, this is the one that I did with the Harry Potter. Sorry. And then this one is one that I did with uh, the Legend of Cor Cora. There we go. So, um, I just thought that since I did finally, it took me the first video to actually experiment enough with the color story to go, oh, <laughs> ah, that's what it is. That's what I'm reacting to. So I thought I'd do the second video to just go ahead and uh, tell you what I learned. And so that's kind of what I learned. And it's a beautiful color story. It's the color story of our planet and Mother Earth. And so, um, yeah, that's it. And that's the video. And um, that's my whole lesson on basic color theory or color theory throughout the ages kind of thing. Classic color theory. There we go. And so I thought I'd let you know. And... Um, I hope you have a great day, and uh, thank you for going down the rabbit hole with me. I'll see you later. Bye.